Hello everyone, today I have something for you micro ATX board lovers out there. This is the ASRock Z370M Pro 4. This is a Z370 chipset motherboard for the new Intel 8th generation Coffee Lake CPUs. So if you really really want a cheaper Coffee Lake platform now, the only chance you have is to go with a quite cheap Z370 board for now. Currently this Pro 4 is up for sale for about 130 US dollars. Not that affordable affordable admittedly, but as low as it can get for a board featuring a high-end overclocking chipset. In this lower price range, nobody really cares that much about aesthetics, not even I do. But Azrak did a great job here once more and I certainly like the look. Although one should note, for you RGB lovers out there, look elsewhere, there's none on board. The Z370 chipset supports the latest Intel Coffee Lake CPUs and overclocking of such. However, despite the use of high quality components such as 45 amp chokes and whatnot, the 10 phase power design and the lack of beefy VRM cooling will Will certainly limit your overclocking that you might have in mind. However, we at least get a little cooling for the PCH and VRM on this board. Up to 4300 MHz DDR4 RAM can be installed and we do get two PCIe 3.0 x16 slots along with two x1 slots with the x16 slots running in x16 x4 mode when in a two-way multi-GPU configuration. Storage wise, six SATA 6 gigabit per second ports all running natively of the Z3 70 PCH and supporting RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10. Then there of course also are two M.2 M key slots supporting up to 32 gigabits per second. As always not all M.2 and SATA ports can function at the same time. The Realtek ALC 892 8 channel 7.1 HD audio coder comes into play here audio wise which is an okay audio solution. Nothing impressive here really, it by far can't touch the far superior ALC 1220 codec. We do get Elna audio caps here, oh and as for LAN, the good i219V controller by Intel. Altogether there are just 4 fan headers on board, which is enough but not as many as seen on more expensive models. The CPU fan header can deliver up to 1 amp, the optional CPU fan header is just a 3 pin unfortunately. When it comes down to connectivity, ASRock does not disappoint however, two internal USB 3.1 Gen 1 as well as a pair of USB 2.0 headers. To power everything up, there's the 24 pin and the standard 8 pin connection. Now how about the I.O.? Not something really mind blowing going on there. Standard old school PS2 ports, a USB 2.0 as well as 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports and then a single type C port 2 of the Gen 1 type though. And then as for the rest, Ethernet, audio and video outputs. And that's pretty much it. A fairly basic board all in all, no bells and whistles just the basics, which therefore also means just a single UEFI BIOS chip. Speaking of which, the ASRock UEFI is very well organized, as always with tons of features to play and experiment with. I could even take my i7-8700K to 4.8 GHz on all cores quite easily, albeit with a slightly higher CPU voltage than with the more expensive Extreme 4 model by ASRock. At the end of the day, the ASRock Z370M Pro 4 is nothing really that impressive nor is it bad. It's a fairly basic board with the stuff you need on it and expect at roughly $130 for a micro ATX motherboard. It's worth noting this is not something you would get to take your i5 or i7K models to a whole new level overclocking wise. Overclocking certainly is more than doable but it's really not a board you'd want to push to its limits since there's not a whole lot of VRM cooling going on. Also no USB 3.1 Gen 2 on this board, although at this price point not something you may should expect anyway. It's understandable this board doesn't come with any lighting, but it's a real shame it doesn't at least come with an RGB header. But priced at $130, the pricing is fair. Which is why I certainly can recommend this ASRock Z370M Pro 4. I'm giving it my silver award. And as always, thanks for watching.